Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at Surf Expo with Adrian Roper at Access. How are you doing, sir? Good. You've got some amazing twin tips, like always. Let's go through them. Cheers. Okay, we'll start with the Liberty, which is our kind of price point package board. Uh, this is new and improved for this year. Uh, last year we had a, the, 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 the price point boards, they're basically a flat top and a flat bottom, uh, so that they're less expensive to, to produce but still give a really nice ride. Uh, last year's one, the only thing you, I could fault it with was a little bit heavy, so what we've done is we've thinned the board out, which would make it softer in the middle, but to counteract that, we've pressed the board on a concave base mold so the center of the board's concave which gives really good um, tracking and edge hold and then it flattens out to, to flatter in the tips um, it gives a very a lighter much lighter to board compared to last year soft easy fun riding boards and that comes in uh, 135 up to 140 actually right up right through to 150 five different sizes in that you can get all the sizes off off the website um, easy riding fun board Next board in the range is the Division, and this is also new for this year. We kind of took the lessons we learnt from the, the Liberty, and this is just a, a straight taper core. Again, so that it's easier to machine and uh, more cost effective to build. But we wanted to add some of the features from our, our high-end boards. So what we've done is we've laser cut slots in the wood core and then pressed the, the features into the board afterwards. This gives a really uh, a nice riding board um, but a simpler construction. Um, this one here, it, it's, it's uh, s s like a softer ride, um, very very smooth, very forgiving. Um, first, first board for someone to, to progress on, very easy to learn your tricks, very good in rough water, very smooth and easy to ride. Um, comes in a bunch of sizes from 135 up to 140 but we've also done it in two Grom sizes we've got a 115 and a 125 little small ones uh, light fun smooth easy riding board the graphics on these uh, this one's not entirely the final graphic it's a, a digitally printed and it has a, a partial white behind it so on the deck here you will actually see wood through here which gives a real 3d depth look to the whole board um, can't wait to see the finished graphic on these. And next board covering is uh, the Vanguard. This board here is it's a board we've done for quite a few years, and you know very very happy with it. And it, it has a big spine in the middle, and the two channels in it. Uh, very very smooth riding. The biggest change on this for this year is that we have changed the rocker actually in, in all of the boards and. Um, it had a straighter section through the tip last year and, and more rocker in the middle of it. The, the rocker now is more of an even arc over the whole entire board. And very small change, but it's made a massive difference to the ride. Um, my favorite board last year was the, the Limited, and this 2017 Vanguard I would actually rate above last year's Limited. Super nice board to ride. Um, the other thing we've changed is we've got uh, the inserts have moved closer together. They were 25 mils apart, as is standard on most boards, but the problem with that is when you, when you go wider, you go wider one inch on your left foot, one inch on your right foot, that's two inches wider in stance. Very, very coarse adjustment. So we squeeze these inserts closer together so that you can have a, a finer adjustment. Um, but the added benefit we found from that is with our base plate, you can go from the center insert to the center insert, or you can go from center to the outside, or, or or you know you've got half inserts in between so you've got sort of ten different stance options in there where you used to just have three and you can really fine-tune exactly what you want to stand on the board makes it super comfortable um, the next one up from that we haven't actually got a model of it here yet is the 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 new axis uh, limited it's the same board as this but in a um, biaxial carbon laminate and that's uh, black and white with some exposed graphics um, I'd like to bring Hendrick in now to uh, cover the, actually no, yeah, we should just do the light wind boards first, sorry about that. Um, this is the Ultra and the Patrol, um, these are actually last year's boards, we're actually doing the same board again but we haven't got the new graphics finished yet. These boards here, they're big, wide and quite a flat rocker, 25 mils of rocker. 
Um, and we do it at the two boards. There's ones in, in a glass construction and ones in a, in a biaxial carbon. Um, the, the Ultra is proved really good last year for light wind uh, twin tip racing and it's a board that'll get you up and going in the light, gives you a lot of bottom end, but it's also a board you can have some fun riding on. Um, there's a lot of light wind boards that are kind of a bit boring once you've got up and planing. This is one you can actually freestyle on and it's a fun board to ride. It comes in two sizes, a 148 and a 144 and, and two different constructions. Um, what else should I point, about, point out on? Uh, on the uh, Division, Vanguard, the Limited and the Ultra and the Patrol, these boards are all asymmetric inserts on them which means there's a dedicated heel side and a dedicated toe side. On the heel side of all these boards we have a unicarbon strip that runs basically from this insert to the other insert in a straight line about 100 mils wide and then a taper towards the tip. That unicarbon through here and it's matched top and bottom provides a stable platform between your feet and allows the, the tips to flex which gives you a soft smooth ride. Uh, it, it means that this this is a heel side, this is a toe side and the inserts are marked that way so you can't ride the board the other way around. The, the Liberty, which is a, a price point board, um, that's a balanced laminate and you can ride either side of that so if you grind an edge out you can actually flip it around and, and use the other edge and that's the same for our uh, Trank Billy Pro as well. We'll get Hendrik to come in now and he can cover the, the weight style boards. How you doing sir? Good morning. Everything so, good? Good, good. Now, I hear your job is to break things. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm known for, for destroying the boards. Yeah. Uh, I ride the Billy and the Trank. Those are the most durable boards that we have. Yeah. Uh, they're really built to get carnage. So you can go full power. Don't worry about the landings. Just bend through your knees so you don't break your knees. But uh, yeah, they're my favorite because, you know, they, they, they really hold down the power. You can go full speed, they have a little bit more rocker. So uh, yeah, you can hold down the power a little bit better. Uh, now, let's, people are going to say, well, wait a minute, how many kilos are you or pounds? Well, I'm 70 kilos. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know how many pounds that are. We, you're, you're a pretty light guy then. So people are going to go, whoa, 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 whoa. How can a guy that's around 70 kilos break a board that most guys in the 80 to 90 kilo range don't break. What's the difference? Uh, I can show you the videos, the pictures. For me, it's all about amplitude in the tricks. You know, go as big as you can. Try to go with so much speed into the trick, getting out of the trick. And uh, yeah, I like to go for big tricks. Uh, one of my favorites is like the, the front mob, the big old classic front mob. You know, these days a lot of people are into low mobs and small tricks. But for me, it's all about amplitude to showcase, you know, what, what kiteboarding really is. Now. Now that you've said that, so where do most boards break? So most boards break right under the, uh, right under your heel, heel edge. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I haven't broken any of these boards so far. So the construction of these, that's what makes it so tough for you to break. Uh, yeah, these boards are a little, are a little bit thicker than uh, most of our lineup. Uh, these are made for heavy impacts, so that's the reason I, I ride them. And so what are the, we've got this one over here, what are some other the key features of this board? So this is the Billy, uh, it's a little bit stronger than the bootleg, the bootleg is for a lighter, younger rider. The Billy is uh, really for the hardcore uh, wake style rider, uh, it's a little bit more aggressive. Uh, it has uh, the same bottom shape as the other boards, so they, uh, they, they have a really good traction in the water. Does it have a good grind base? Because I know Billy likes to hit those rails. Oh yeah, Th these boards all come with uh, a special laminate on the bottom to endure all those you know, heavy carvings and slidings and beatings that all those features these days. Oh, okay, yeah. and then this last one over here with the Buddha. Oh yeah, this is a Trank, so this is a 145, it's slightly larger than the other ones. Uh, this is Alexander Lewis Hudges, his pro model. It's a Trank. Uh, okay. <laughs>
No. Thanks so much for helping us out over here, Hendrik. No We're going to go back to Adrian and talk about the pads and straps. Same pads and straps we had last year, but I'd like to point out some other features about them. Um, the pad comes in, uh, in two sizes. Uh, this one here is obviously the larger and the smaller one. Um, this smaller one, if you compare the back of them there, you can see it's higher and thicker. And what that does is it takes up more room in the bottom of there to make the actual hole for your foot a bit tighter and smaller. Both of these foot pads, um, they have a, a, a frame, which is a high density EVA, and then the inside here is the softest EVA density we can get. Underneath the, the heel area of both of these, underneath the red here, we have a, an area of poron, and the poron is a, a four mil thick foam in, in between here, and poron's incredibly good for absorbing impact. If you, uh, if you drop a screwdriver or, or a ball bearing onto it, it just stops dead, it takes the bounce out of it. And what that does is absorbs the impact from your heel. So really good cushioning and comfortable. All of the foot pads, they have a, a slot at each end so that you've got a little bit of adjustment and they'll fit most boards. Um, this is the small, size small, it has two toe bars on there so that you hook your, your toes over depending on the size of your foot. This one's designed for really, really small kids and girls' feet and there's not many uh, pads and straps on the market that work, work so well as that one. A um, couple of features on the pad here too is both sides of the the pad here are undercut so the spray that hits this is driven down rather than up into your eyes. Um, they're built with a curve in them so that when you bolt them down onto the board they're nice and tight at the edge. So you don't get sand and water underneath them. Stuck under them and we have two different strap systems. This is the Traction Plus and it has four straps for adjusting it inside and we have the Traction which is a more basic one and it just has two straps. It's very, very easy to use. This one takes a little more to set up, but you can really fine tune it and get your foot totally locked in there. So where can they find more info on the pads and the boards and all the rest of the technical features of each one? Everything's at accesskiteboarding.com. Thanks for the interview. Cheers. Thank you so much, Adrian.